Get ready to make some music, make some music, music with Mr. C. Hello boys and girls and welcome to another music lesson. Today's music lesson is a music journal, which means we will be learning about a new type of music. Who knows, it might just be your new favorite. So without any further ado, let's get started with our very next music journal. This is a music journal! Hi ho there boys and girls and welcome to the wonderful world of jazz music. Hot dog! Well, now, wasn't that a real gas? The bee's knees, the cat's meow. I'll say hot dog. Listen here now, boys and girls. Jazz music got its start in the African-American communities down in New Orleans in the early 1900s. And I'll tell you what else, it's more American than apple pie. Considered one of our country's most important contributions to the arts, jazz music was so popular that the 1920s became known as the Jazz Age. You see, back before the 1900s, most music was classical music, but lots of folks found that music pretty stuffy and square. Not a lot of fun, you see. But when the jazz music arrived on the scene, bang, just like that, it was real exciting. All about self-expression and loud music and flashy and fun and excitement and fun, 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 I tell you, fun! Now, boys and girls, let me tell you just a few of the important things about jazz music. First, I need to tell you about swing. Swing is a different way of playing the rhythms that makes jazz music different than any other kind. Why, it's the heart and soul of jazz music, and it sounds like this. Regular rhythms are real straight and square, see? Something like this here. But if I was to swing that there rhythm, it would sound just like this. Here's an example of some music being played first straight and then with swing. Now, isn't that killer diller, the cat's pajamas, simply dynamite, hot dog? Another real important thing about jazz music is improvisation. That there's a fancy word which means to make something up right there on the spot. Yes, sir, that's right. Jazz musicians often make up the music right there on the spot. That means jazz musicians have to be real good at listening to each other so they can listen and hear what the other guy's playing and play with him, you see. One way jazz musicians improvise is by doing something we call embellishing a melody. That just means taking a melody that you already know and changing it to make it a little more fancy, a little more exciting, a little more fun, 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 I tell you, fun! For example, take a listen to this melody you might recognize.
play that same melody again, but this time I'll embellish it. I'll make it a little fancy. I'll make up some new parts right there on the spot, and it should be a bit more exciting, you see? Let's have a listen. Just dandy, a real treat, the cat's fluffy behind. The cat's fluffy behind? I, I think I might have made that one up. Another way jazz musicians improvise is by making up their own solos, which is a bit like making up a new melody right there for yourself. For example, take a listen to one of my favorite jazz musicians, Mr. Roy Hargrove, playing this trumpet solo. <laughs> Jazz music uses lots of fun different types of instruments, many you've heard before, but in a whole new way, you see, like the upright bass. Or the electric guitar. Or the saxophone. I don't know how to play the saxophone. <laughs> ah, yes, boys and girls, just a laugh there. But yes, in jazz music, you will hear lots of instruments that we like to call horns that you blow into, such as a saxophone. Trumpet. Or a trombone. Boys and girls, there's lots of different types of jazz music, depending on how far back you want to go. Back in the beginning, we heard what we call New Orleans jazz, or Dixieland jazz. In the 1930s, we began the swing era, or what's sometimes called the big band era, because the bands were big. There were some great big bands led by the likes of Mr. Duke Ellington or Count Basie. <laughs> Gotta do is swing. After the swing era in the 1940s began what was known as bebop, a very fast and exciting form of jazz that was much more challenging to play. Some great bebop musicians include Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. Have a listen. Later in the 40s, jazz started to smooth out, you see, and get a bit calmer in what was called cool jazz. One of the very best cool jazz musicians is Mr. Miles Davis. Let's have a look. <laughs> Later on, 
and even more types of jazz came around, such as free jazz, where everything was completely made up on the spot, but also one of my favorite types of jazz, jazz fusion, which is what you get when you take jazz music, you see, and mix it up with rock and roll. Take a listen to a little bit of this jazz fusion. Boys and girls, see here, I'm all done talking like that. But you know what to do next, my friends. It is time for you to now go out and listen to some jazz music on your own. There is lots of great music in this genre that you can listen to. If you're looking for a place to start, I made a playlist of some of my favorite music in this style. You can see that playlist by clicking on the link in the description below. Once you've found at least two songs that you like, it's time to journal about them. Don't forget to write down the name of each song and the band or artist who performs it. Then tell me about the song, like what did it sound like? What did it make you feel or think about? Did you like it? Maybe even draw a picture and most importantly, tell me what makes music in this genre different than other types of music. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun with this and enjoy exploring the wonderful world of jazz music. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you guys later. Bye! You took the part that I... Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. C says I need to be more of a gentleman in my videos, so... <clears throat> Hi, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe. Also, visit my Patreon page to see how you can support me. <laughs> Mrs. C, I did it again!